I've noticed we've done a lot of stories lately about things hanging out of windows. Well, today I'm digging into something a little more traditional, window box planners. They're the latest must-have accessories for New York housewives, a common sight for years in the city. New York City or Brooklyn? But now the craze has officially reached Brooklyn, where homeowners are spending hundreds to thousands of dollars on these extravagant planters. So we remove the irrigation first, and then we put them back at the end. Each homeowner trying to be the best on the block. I'll hear my dog barking, and I'll see people taking pictures of my flower boxes. They're not building the arrangements themselves. Please. The tools of the trade <laughs> are your hands. Hi, this is Florence, and I am Cecilia, and we are co-owners of Flos Gardens. We have to make sure they are planted correctly, like deep enough, and because there is not much space, it's, it's tricky. Watch out. <laughs> People used to have, I think in the past, just maybe a pot on the stoop. Now there's more demand for window boxes. People are renovating their homes, taking care of their homes, realizing the facade are actually beautiful. They all have details and they just uh, want to bring more flowers to the, to the house. So the whole process here took about an hour, but you know, the whole process might be changing too. There are subscription services popping up where you don't even have to go and plant anything. They just show up uh, fully arranged outside your door each month, so. So they're basically ringers. What? They're ringers. You bring them in when you don't want to do it yourself. You bring in the professionals and they, is there anyone on the block that does anything for themselves I anymore? I love going to different shoots in different cities and one of my favorite things to pick out are the best window boxes and I always take a photo and I always send them to my mom and she's like, oh my God, that's so beautiful. So like, I have to say, it's as cheesy as it probably sounds, it's one of my favorite things to look at when I'm taking walks. What was the most elaborate one that you saw? Like they've got like, you know, trains running on them and little buildings and stuff like that. Animated <laughs> Look, they're, like they're extravagant uh, because Easter of bunnies. the technology in them. But, you know, also it's interesting to me because Brooklyn is now very much looking like the Upper East Side. You know, no, say goodbye, like people say hipster Brooklyn, but really it's just as manicured and well-maintained as Upper East Side of Manhattan. You're probably more interested in the barbecue grill hanging out that guy's window. That is a sight for sore eyes. That looks like home. That is a flower box I think we can all get behind. 